Hello everybody and welcome once again to the TribeFan879 YouTube channel. Uh, tonight we will be playing game 97 of the Minnesota Twins 2016 replay using Stratomatic Cards and Dice in Advanced. Tonight's matchup will be the Twins visiting the Boston Red Sox. And tonight's matchup is Ricky Nolasco for the visiting Minnesota Twins and David Price for the home team Boston Red Sox. And we will just get started here, and I'll just announce everybody when they come up. All right, leading off for the Minnesota Twins, here is Eduardo Nunez. 1-7, and that is a ground ball to the second baseman against the lefty. That's picked up by Dustin Pedroia. That's one out. And here is Robbie Grossman, the designated hitter. 6-9 against a righty. And that's a little, in a little bit of trouble here as that goes towards the triangle. Nope, that will be cut off. That's a 20. That is a base hit for Robbie Grossman. And so the Twins have a run around with one out. And here is the ever-dangerous Miguel Sano. 1-5. And yes, he is dangerous. That's an 11. That's a... Double for Sano. They were not holding Grossman on. He hits third. Uh, center fielder is Bradley. He's on minus three, so they will not play the 50-50 chance here. As Grossman will only be a 1-10, to 10, so they will put the stop sign up and have second and third with one out. And here is the second baseman, Brian Dozier. By the way, Sano is playing third base today. 3-12. Oof. Thankfully that was not against the righty. That is a fly ball to deep center field and that is caught. However, it is deep enough for a sacrifice fly as that's a fly ball A. And Grossman scores from third and Sano goes to third. So everybody moves up one base as Dozier puts one on the warning track. And it's, everybody moves up one base and the Twins lead one to nothing. And here is Max Kepler, the right fielder. 6-3 and that's to the right fielder. That's uh, Michael Martinez. He is a 3. And an 11 and that is out of range. He will need a... He is an E4, so he will need a 5 to 10. And that's a 9, and that's a good play from Michael Martinez. However, the Twins draw first blood, and we go to the bottom half of the first with the score. The Twins won, and the Red Sox coming to bat. And here is Ricky Nolasco, the starting pitcher for the Minnesota Twins, who won't be here much longer as he gets dealt at the deadline in 2016. He goes to the Los Angeles Angels. And leading off and playing left field is Brock Holt. 4-7 against a lefty. That's a fly ball to center field. Byron Buxton is underneath that. He gets it for one out. And here is the second baseman, Dustin Pedroia, batting second today. 6-10. Uh, oh, that is a ground ball right to Kenny Vargas. He takes it to the bag himself. And that's two away. And here is Xander Bogarts, the shortstop. 4-6. And that's a ground ball to Sano. Throws it over to Vargas, and the Red Sox go 1-2-3 in the first inning. And your score after one complete is the Twins 1 and the Red Sox nothing. All right, Price will face uh, starting the first baseman, Kenny Vargas, as Joe Maurer gets a day off today. 2-9 against the lefty, and he goes down swinging. So that's the first strikeout of the day for David Price. And now batting of the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. 3-7 against the lefty. He rips a single to center field. So Rosario with a one-out single. 
gives the Twins a base runner, and a C Steeler way will not hold him on, not with uh, Sandy Leone's impressive throwing arm. And here comes the Twins catcher, Kurt Suzuki. 3-8, and that's the pitcher's best friend right there. Ground ball to Bogarts, over to Pedroia, over to Hanley Ramirez, and that's two. And that's the end of the inning. And we go to the bottom half of the second with the score still. The Twins won in the Red Sox. Nothing. And now batting the designated hitter, Big Poppy, David Ortiz. 6-9. And Poppy could tie the game here. 1-5. And that's a three, and that ball is high, deep, and sneaks by Pesky's pole. Home run, David Ortiz. And that ties the game at one. And here is Hanley Ramirez. Now, he's been designated for, for assignment for by the Indians recently. Six, six, and that's a strikeout, so... Ramirez gets caught looking, and here's the center fielder, uh, Jackie Bradley Jr. For eight, and not an automatic base hit, one to nine, and that's a four, and that's a base hit for Jackie Bradley, and they will hold him on being a, that Suzuki is a plus two arm. Uh, they will not go 1-12 to 12 yet, but they will hold him on. And here is the third baseman, Aaron Hill. 5-9, that's to the shortstop. Uh, that's Eduardo Nunez. He's a 4. And a 4, and I don't think that's going to that's gonna be stopped. Is that going to go through? 4 and a 4, yes it will. Hill smokes one by the shortstop. Bradley getting a nice jump. Goes to third. And the Red Sox have runners at first and third with one out. And here is Sandy Leone, the catcher. Uh, they will play back, try to get uh, two outs to end the inning. Two, eight, and Leone rips one up the middle. Base hit. Coming home to score is Bradley. On to third is Hill. And the assembly line keeps on rolling for the Red Sox. And now here is Michael Martinez. Here, What happens is, is Martinez gets released by the Indians and plays for the Red Sox for a little bit. And then he gets released and goes back to the Indians. And most notably makes the final out of the 2016 World Series for the Indians. 3-11 against a righty. Uh, but Martinez hits one to Nunez. He makes up for it. On to Dozier. Over to Vargas. That's two. And that's a shame because the Red Sox had a big rally going. However, they do score two and take the lead. Uh, two to one going into the top half of the third. All right, and... Price will face Byron Buxton, the center fielder, and then back to the top of the order. So here is Price, the lefty, against Buxton, the righty. 3-5, and that's Buxton going down swinging. So we go back to the top of the order, and Eduardo Nunez, he grounded to second his last time up. 3-10 against the lefty. Ground ball right back to Price. Ranges over, gets it, throws it to first, and that's two away. And here is Robbie Grossman, who singled and scored his last time up. 3-10, and that's a ground ball to Bogarts. Over to Ramirez, and the Twins go down 1-2-3 here in the third. And we go to the bottom of the third, where the Red Sox lead 2-1. And we go back to the top of the order in Brock Holt. He flew out the center his last time up. 
four nine against the lefty. That's a ground ball to the second baseman. Dozier picks it up, throws to Vargas, and that's one away. And here is Dustin Pedroia. They grounded to first his last time up. 2-9. And he go, hits one right back to the box. And Alasco stabs it. Underhands it to first. And that's two away. And here is Xander Bogarts. 1-7. Line smash caught by Vargas. And that ends the inning. And the... The Red Sox go down 1-2-3 here in the bottom of the third. And we go to the top half of the fourth. And the score is the Red Sox 2 and the Twins 1. And here is Miguel Sano. He doubled uh, home Grossman his last time up. 4-6. Not this time. Straight 3. And Sano shakes his head going to the, back to the dugout. Here's Brian Dozier. He had a sacrifice fly his last time up. 5-9. And this is not good for David Price. 50-50 home run chance. And that ball is high. Deep and over the monster for a home run. Brian Dozier has gone deep. And the Twins have tied the game at 2. And here is Max Kepler. He flew out the right his last time up. 6-6, uh, six, six, that's a ground ball to first. Ramirez has it. He takes it to the bag himself. And that's two away. And here is Kenny Vargas with a, no, a two out and nobody on. 5-3, that goes to the left fielder. That's Brock Holt. He is a three. And a 10, and that won't do it. So Brock Holt is an E6, so we will need a 6 to 8 or 10 to 12. And that is a 6, and he run, makes a nice running catch. So Brock Holt snags it to end the inning. However, a one-out home run by Brian Dozier ties the game at 2. And we go to the bottom half of the fourth where Ricky Delasco will face uh, David Ortiz. Ortiz just hit one inside Pesky's pole the last time up. 1-9. And that's right back to Delasco. Throws it over to first, and that's one away. And here is Hanley Ramirez. Oops, a little wild die there. 6-6, six, six, and that's a strikeout. So Ramirez goes down on strikes for the second time today. And here is Jackie Bradley Jr. He singled and scored his last time up. 4-4. Four, four. That's a catcher X. Probably won't matter. 5. Not really. It's a wild pitch and a pop-out, so we'll just say it's a pop-out. And the Red Sox go down 1-2-3 here in the fourth inning. And we go to the top half of the fifth with the game tied at two. And Price will face Rosario, Suzuki, and Buxton here in the top half of the fifth. 2-6, and that's a strikeout. And then Rosario goes down swing, and he singled his last time up. So he is one for two on the day. And here is Kurt Suzuki. 2-12. Oh, just missed. Pops it up to the shortstop. Bogarts grabs it and puts it away. That's two outs. And here is Byron Buxton. Struck out his last time up. And he strikes out again. So Buxton has gone down twice today. And we go to the bottom half of the fifth. With the game tied at two. And Nolasco will face the bottom third of the order. Aaron Hill, Sandy Leone, and Michael Martinez. Oops. 6-3. Back to the pitcher, Nolasco. 
That's a 20. That might be good enough. And it is. So Nolasco snags it. Actually, doesn't say. He races over to the line, picks it up, throws him out, and great play from Nolasco. And here is Sandy Leone. Two, nine. And that's strike three as Leone goes down swinging. And here is Michael Martinez. 311. That's a ground ball to the shortstop. Uh, Nunez picks it up, throws it over to Vargas, and we are through five with the score the Twins two and the Red Sox two. And we go to the top half of the order as both pitchers have uh, now gone through the order twice. Uh, here is Eduardo Nunez. He is 0 for 2 on the day. However, that 5-9 roll might come back to bite him again. 50-50 for the home run chance. No. But goes off the monster. Or sorry, the wall on left. And Nunez strolls into second with the leadoff double, and they will hold him on. And here is Robbie Grossman. Five, eight, against a righty. That is a strikeout, so still holding on. And here is Miguel Sano. Four, nine, and that ball is headed to the gap. Will they cut it off? Yes, they will. However, Nunez moves around, and he will score. And the Twins take a 3-2 lead with an RBI single by Miguel Sano. And here's Brian Dozier. He is 1-for-1 one one on the day with a home run and a set fly. And he won't get it done here. That's strike three called as Price is striking, struck out two in this inning. And here is Max Kepler, the right fielder, 0-for-2 on the day. 6-6 six, six against the lefty. That's a ground ball. De Ramirez takes it to the bag himself. And the Twins go down here in the sixth. However, the RBI single by Miguel Sano puts them up 3-2. to two. And here is Ricky Nolasco. Now he's heading into his point of weakness here. But if he can make it through, they will let him go because he's only been through the order twice so far. Four seven. That's a lefty. That's a fly ball to center field. That's caught by Buxton. One away. And here is Dustin Pedroia, the second baseman. Five five. And once again, Buxton being busy here in the bo bottom half of the sixth. It puts that away. That's two outs. And here's Xander Bogarts. Two ten. That's a high pop up to. The outfield. Ah, Nunez says, it's mine. He grabs it. And the Red Sox go down 1-2-3 here in the 6th. And we go to the top half of the 7th. With the score, the Twins 3 and the Red Sox 2. And here's David Price coming out. And this is his point of weakness inning. 2-6. And that's a strikeout for Vargas. He has gone down twice today. And here is Eddie Rosario. 6-6. Six, six. Ground ball to Ramirez. Takes it to the bag himself. And that's two away. And here is Kurt Suzuki up with nobody on and two outs. 6-3. And that goes to the right fielder. That is Michael Martinez. He's a three. And an 8, I believe that's out of range, and it is. So as an E4, yeah, E4, he will need a 5 to 10. And that's an 8, and that will take care of business here in the top half of the 7th. So we go to the bottom half of the 7th, 
We will play Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care if I never get back for it's root, root, root for the Red Sox. If they don't win, it's a shame. It's one, two, three strikes. You're out the old ball game. Hey. All right. We go to the bottom half of the seventh. And Ricky in Alaska facing David Ortiz, who homered his first time up. One, seven. That's a ground ball to Dozier. Throws to first, and they get Ortiz. That's a one out. Here's Henry Ramirez. 6-8. And Ramirez smacks one to the gap. They will cut it off. And it's a long single for Hanley Ramirez. And the Twins will not waste any time getting the bullpen ready. Uh, let's see here. They will get Buddy Boshears. And Ryan Presley loosening in the pen, so they'll get double barrel action going. All right, so they will hold Hanley Ramirez on, and here's Jackie Bradley Jr. 3-7, and that's a might be a slight triple chance. Actually, it's a 35% triple chance. No, that's a fly ball to center field. It's run down by Buxton. And here's Aaron Hill with uh, two out and a runner on first. Five, two, and that's a fly ball to left. Rosario's under it. He puts it away. And we go to the top half of the eighth with the score, the Twins three and the Red Sox two. And Price will come out for the eighth, and they will get bullpen action going. They have Heath Hembry and Matt Barnes. Actually, don't look at Janucci Tazawa and Matt Barnes loosening in the pen. Tazawa just came off the injured list, and they want to get him into a game maybe. So here's Price against Buxton. 3-11. That's a ground ball to the shortstop. Throws it to first to Ramirez, and that's a one away. And here is Eduardo Nunez. 6-6, six, six, and that's a fly ball to right field. That's caught by Martinez. That's two away. And here is Robbie Grossman. 6-10, and against the righty, that's strike three. So Price has gotten through the eighth inning. And with him facing two over the minimum, they'll bring him out for the ninth if possible, but they may be on a very short leash. And here is Ricky Nolasco. He will face Sandy Leone, Michael Martinez. Actually, they may pinch hit for Martinez, so look out here. Two, six, and that's a 25% single chance for Leon, and he got it. So Leon is on first. Do they want a pinch run for him? Uh, yes, they do. They will have Mookie. No, they want a Mookie bats run. They want to save him for, in case this goes extra innings. Oh, they don't have anybody to really run for him. I will let Leon run. Uh, and here is Michael Martinez. Um, they will play the corners in, expecting the bunt, which will make him a deep honor, so he will not lay down the bunt. 3-7. That's strike three. And... Back to the top of the order here is Brock Holt. One, five. And that's a double to left. So that goes off the wall. Heading to third is Leon. Eleven. Uh, Rosario's a minus one. They will hold him there. 
and the Red Sox have the t- the tying and go ahead runs in scoring position, and Paul Molitor comes out of the bullpen, asks for the ball, and Nolasco has done a fantastic job. However, they will need assistance with this. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll have Buddy Bo Shears. Sorry, hold on. It's the righty. Mm. Yeah, they'll have Bo Shears face the righty. They'll have him face Pedroia, Bogart, and maybe Bogarts. So this bullpen... Change, we will take a short break here while I get everything written down. All right, the Twins will be playing the infield in with one out because they have a one-run lead. They want to cut off that run at the plate. And here is Dustin Pedroia as the dice almost go flying. One ten against the lefty. That's a line out the short, and everybody scrambles back. They will go back to playing normal. Here is Xander Bogarts. 6-2. That's a ground ball to the shortstop. Throws it to first, and Bo Shears does his J-O-B. And we will head to the top half of the ninth. And Price will come out and try to finish the game, although they will have still have Tazawa and Barnes. They are ready if needed. And Brandon Kinsler will be loosening in the Twins bullpen as he will come on if needed for a save. Two, four, and that's a strikeout for Sano. Oops, wrong column there. This didn't mean to put Ortiz here. And here is Brian Dozier. Five, six, and that's a strikeout. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven strikeouts for David Price today. We want to talk about being a potential hard luck loser. Six, five, that's to the shortstop Bogarts. Three and a three, and I don't think he'll get it. No, he will not. It squeezes through, and Max Kepler reaches with two outs. And here is Kenny Vargas. It'll be his last. This will probably be his last batter. One, three. Against the lefty, and maybe they left him in for one batter too long. Vargas hits one high, deep, and just over the wall. Home run, Kenny Vargas. And that gives the Twins some breathing room here in the ninth. And that gives the Twins a 5-2 to two lead. And here comes the, the manager, uh, John Farrell, coming out to a round of boos. They felt like they should have taken him out just a better earlier. And here is Janucci Tazawa. And he will face Eddie Rosario. Three five against the righty and Rosario hits one into the gap, and he goes into second with a double. And the Twins have found their hitting shoes with two outs in the ninth. And here is Kurt Suzuki. 6-5, and that's a strikeout. However, two big insurance runs by the Twins here in the ninth. And we go to the bottom half of the ninth. With the score, the Twins 5 and the Red Sox 2. And we will have uh, Brandon Kinsler come out here in the ninth for the save, or try to attempt the save. 
And he will face David Ortiz, Hanley Ramirez, and Jackie Bradley Jr. Five, seven. That's a ground ball to the second baseman. Dozier picks it up, throws it to first, and that's one away. And here is Hanley Ramirez. Four, seven. That's a base hit to left field. And the, the Red Sox are trying to get something going here. And here is Jackie Bradley. They will not hold Ramirez on with a two with a three-run lead. 5-12. That's to the first baseman Vargas. He's a four. And an eight. I'm hoping that's they're hoping that's out of range. It is. He is an E6. So a 5 to 9 or an 11 to 12, and this game is over. That's a 5. Let me make sure he is an E6. 5 to 9. That is a ground ball A. Vargas over to Nunez. Over to Kinsler covering. No, I didn't put him on. And that's two, and that's the ball game. The Minnesota Twins go into Boston and win five to two. Wow. So the Twins win today. That puts their record at 40 and 57 after 97 games. And we'll go ahead and go through a quick recap here. Yep. All right, so the scoring started in the top half of the first. Uh, One-out single by Robbie Grossman, a followed by a double by Miguel Sano, and then Brian Dozier with a deep fly ball that moved both runners up one base, so that put the Twins up 1-0. However, the Red Sox would take, would, uh, take the lead here in the bottom half of the second. David Ortiz led off the second with a home run, and then with one out, Jackie Bradley singled. He moved a third on an Aaron Hill single and scored on Sandy Leone single, and that made it 2-1. to one. However, the Red Sox would not score the rest of the day. Uh, Brian Dozier tied the game in the fourth with a home run, and then the Twins went ahead in the sixth inning when Eduardo Nunez left off, let off the sixth with a double and then scored on a Miguel Sano single with one out. And that made it 3-2. to two. And then leaving Price in in the ninth might have not been the greatest situation because with two outs, uh, Max Kepler singled. And then Kenny Vargas just cleared the monster in left. And that put the Twins up 5-2. to two. Brandon Kinsler uh, pitches the ninth for the save. And that's all for the game. Like I said the, the Twins go to 40 and 57 on the year. And there is one more game left in this series. And then our the next game will be against the Atlanta Braves when uh, the Braves visit Minnesota. And I know it's Mike Fultonevich for the Braves, and I don't remember who's pitching for the Twins. All right, everybody, uh, whatever, uh, please remember to hit the like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to hit that bell icon and you'll be notified of any new videos. I usually put up two, three videos a week, usually a full game, and then uh, my Twins Weekend Baseball recap show. All right, everybody, whatever games you are playing, either on the PC or Cards and Dice, may your games be lively and your games be good. Have a good night, everybody.